of, you know, so much profit. Yeah, give it all those. And all those. Oh yeah, there we go. That is, like, five is the right price, yeah? Okay, yeah, seemingly. As for the iron bar, I have no idea, where is it? The iron bar is near the root, which I sell for five, so ten. Actually, I quite, as weird as it is, I quite like this part of the game, just because it's a lot of just figuring out the correct prices. It's so, as I say, it's similar to Swords and Potions, because that had the same sort of thing. You'd be selling things, and you'd have to figure out the correct price for everything. Nobody wants any branches? Let me guess, the water sphere is too... Oh, water lamp, it's too expensive. Ten is really cheap. Oh, wow, okay. Why can't they sell stuff? Oh. I was wondering what the hell was happening. Okay, so what was my most recent thing? I know I basically got robbed. Um, the iron bar, I think I sold for too little. Oh, you can actually choose if you want the cheapest stuff to be at the top. I think I'd prefer that at the moment, given the fact everything's real cheap. Okay, so 10 is, like, too low. The water sphere 70 is also too low. Fuck. I can just, yeah, it's fine. I can just check when it comes to, um... Okay, what am I doing? How can I- oh, hold to grab stack? I'm dumb. I never even realised. Oh, there we go. What a profit. That wasn't too bad. Honestly. Yeah, we had no thefts. We had 20 people come into the shop. Nothing rose or sunk in popularity, so that's good. We had a good day of business, except I did get robbed from the, um, the water spheres. Ah, it's my first day on the job. What, what can you expect? I was going to make some blunders here and there. I like that, though. Because <laughs> then you start to learn what the correct um, value for stuff is. Like, I know 10 for the iron bar is too low. 70 for a water sphere is too low. The foundry rests. 150 seemed to be a price that they were happy with. Yeah, that's all a fair bit of stuff. Not bad. Hooray! Uh, yeah, hold to open shop. Alright, time to go to the, uh dungeon again. But before I do, I'm going to go to the board. Investments. There we go, I can get both of these. Vulcan's Forge. Yes. Now oh, he moved in at night. Alright. So Vulcan's now moved in. And I may as well get the wooden hat. So... Yep. Oh, I should have guessed. It actually shows you where they show up. Ah, cool. I'll talk to both of these people before I go on to the dungeon. It seems like the game's perpetually nighttime. So, like, it never ends. Until you either go to the dungeon or go to sleep. Hey, you must be well, no? The one who requested my forge. My name is Andre, Forge Master Extraordinaire. If it's weapons or armor you seek, Vulcan's Forge is the place. Mm. Ah, oh, bugger. Well, I needed what's it. What is that? Ah, oh, fabric bandana, really? I also need water lamps. Oh. So I have the iron bars, I just need teeth stones and foundry re uh, foundry rests, swords and shields. So, that would increase my offense by 40. But it requires something I've not come across yet. Wait, so what's the difference? Plus 50. Oh, right. Ah, plus 300. Oh, 400. Oh, these goes, this goes down like the elemental path. Rusty Short Sword, Venom, Reborn, Vampire. Big Swords. Jesus. Wow, there's actually a lot of stuff I can do. Not bad. Wait, so if I speak with him again, what happens? The forge is ablaze and ready to craft whatever you may need. Wait, there's more to it. I've just realised there's... Okay, yeah, there's a lot. It's not like that for the swords, just the armors. Not too surprising. 
Not bad. Okay, so, I wanna go and talk to... the owner of the big hat. I think the exclamation point just means they have stuff to craft, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, a customer! My apologies, it's just this book is so good. Okay, yes, I am Aries, Weaver and Potion Master. Come to the Wooden Hat when you need a potion or enchantment. What do you want to craft today? What enchantments? Oh, right. I don't know if they're permanent or if just temporary. I can enchant my broom. And as for potions, I have a feeling I probably need... Yep, gel, as I thought. Alrighty. To the dungeon! And away we go. Ba ba bum bum. I know the dungeon's different each time you do it, too. Going on in! Hmm. But I think... I'm trying to think what I might want to upgrade next. Probably an upgrade for the shop. Yeah. So, I'm just trying to think. If I'm able to get a bigger store to begin with, I don't know if that'd be better than upgrading other things like storage. Oh boy. Yeah. He did. Iron bar. Oh. I blocked. Baloney. Right, we have crystallized energy. Fuck. That was dumb. This thing's in an awkward place. No, they... There we go, I got it. <laughs> what do we got? Ooh. Wait, what? Oh, it's cursed. Artifact must be placed at the top or bottom of the bag. Oh my god, really? Okay, so... And then that's left or right. Ah, uh, really? Yes, I forgot. Chris, stuff exists. So, I can jump across this. Whoosh! Somehow. Oh, what? Oh, that's just something that makes me move slow. Oh god. Oh, we got it. Whetstones, I need those. What the hell are these? Oh god, the fists. Jesus. They knocked some shit out of me, too. I think. I don't even know if I can deal with them. Hmm. It's not quite dead yet. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I do have potions, I think. Do I have potions? Oh, RT. I have a potion. I didn't even notice that, somehow. Are you kidding? There we go. Oh, fuck. It's really not that bad to deal with. It's the fact they knock stuff out of you if they hit you. That kind of got me. Oh no. More stuff that needs to be placed at the right or the left of the bag. Oh wait, they stack. Duh. I don't mind them. Yeah! Nice. Oh boy. And again. That's it. Ooh, what is that? That was something new. Yeah, I think so. It's probably... Leave. I don't know if you can leave... If you enter a new room or not. Maybe? Oh boy. Oh, really? Okay, that hit me again. Fuck. Yeah. 
I don't really know why that one hit me again. Fuck. Ooh. Alright, we got it. One down. I missed. Ugh. This actually works pretty well. Nice! That's all I got from that, was just some bloody iron bars. Uh... Oh boy. I did not want to do that. I wanted to roll backwards. Hmm. Nice. Ooh, lenses. <laughs> I'm getting real close to just, just screwing myself over. We got it. Oh. Phew. I was hoping to come across more slimes. Oh dear. Oh. Okay. No, 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 no. Oof. There we go. I like how if you stand next to the edge, you just manage to grab it. Somehow. Do, do, do. Thankfully, falling only does five damage, but I'm still very close to death. What the hell is that? That was weird. Oh boy. There we go. Got it. Whetstone, baby. Nope. There we go. Not too shabby. Oh god. As soon as I walked on it, I realized it was a flaw that collapses. Whoa. Is that some of the heels? I don't know. Why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched. But rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. Is that health? <gasps> oh my god, it is. Perfect. I'm so glad. Hell yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Well, given the fact I got a heal, I may as well. Be rude not to. Ooh. Aha! This works too well. At the moment, anyway. It's just really useful. Walking into them and then instantly running away. Uh-oh. I can hurt that. With a sword, I could not with, uh, the broom. Ooh. We got it. Oh, I didn't drop a damn, a damn thing. What a bitch. That's a bit of a shame. Ooh. Is it this, then? Today marks my first steps into these mysterious dungeons. They were discovered not far from Rhinoka, a small and incredibly charming village just north of the crater. They are quite unique a unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter a dungeon at once, but no one will adventure together. These dungeons seem to build themselves around the one entering. A unique maze for each person, never the same labyrinth twice. One must ask though, if no one is currently inside the dungeon, does it even exist? Now these, these are the questions. Many right now are flooding to these dungeons for their treasure, completely disregarding the inherent danger of these of the hostile creatures inside. Just for some gold, some fame. But not I, no. It's all about the questions for me. Where did these dungeons come from? Where do they constantly shift? Why do they constantly shift and change? And why are they filled with unseen treasures? I'm not here for the what. I'm here for the how and why. Okay. I guess that was another crazy Pete message. I also don't know what is beyond the heal room. This might be a mistake, but I'm going there, because I'm curious. I can always maybe fast travel.
Well, until I know for sure, I, I would like to figure it out. Either that or it's a boss. Oh, it's not a boss. Oh, fuck. I really don't understand these enemies. They aren't too... You know, difficult or anything. Oh god. More iron bars. Oh, hi. You're a boss. Hi, Marty. Oh, it costs... Okay, that's why I started with 100 gold. Yes, because I did have 300. It costs 200 to leave. That's something that's good to know. What the hell? So that was the boss. Okay. Huh. I'm not entirely sure what happens if you died, though. I think if you die, you just lose some stuff. You drop some of your items or something. Not sure. Don't really want to find out. Probably will find out as the game progresses. Let's be honest. Do do do. All right. Now it's just time to figure out what I want to sell. <laughs> hey! Oh, it's daytime. Looking to craft some better gear, Will. Oh, I can actually make all these. I re I need 4,000 gold. Are you kidding? I also need 4,000 gold for these. Jesus. I have enough for all this, though. <laughs> but for the time being, I think I'm just going to sell most of the stuff I find. To be honest. Yeah, and I can open the shop. Alright. I sold that for way too little. And so... I'm trying to think, would it be worth just selling one thing at a time? Just so you get an idea as to what they actually sell for. So, for example, that 250 is perfect for those. I can sell all of those. Uh, lenses. Sure. I don't know what their value is. Where are they? Oh. 100. So, 110? Also, I've got a few new things. Golem core. The core of the ver or the very heart of a golem. We have found ways to harness the energy, but are unable to create life from it. Crystal rock. A beautiful crystal of many colours. I've heard rumours of it being used as a conductor to fantastic results. Hmm. Oh, wait. I've just realised I'm doing it the wrong way. Yeah. Because I've, I've sorted it from cheapest to most expensive. So I should probably put the lens as under 100. Probably that at 90. Hmm. Hardened steel. The strongest steel I have come across. Perfect for crafting new equipment. Gold runes. And that's everything. Rich jelly. Empowering crystal. Raw power. A uh, raw crystal source of magic power. I don't know what any of these are worth. That's worth five, so... 50. Could be worth anything. Hmm. Okay. So... Did I say I was going to do 90? Actually, yeah, if I just do 100, there we go. It's quicker. Uh, sure. Alright. I didn't want to exit. Oops. Alright, try that again. Come one, come all! Wait a minute, is that...? Oh god, yeah, the, the water sphere. It was placed at 70 again. But that was way too low. Try 85. Hey, the lens is perfect. Nice. Very good. That's way too low still. Fuck! Damn it. Ah, oh, what's... Alright, just go restock these. Ah, uh, shoot. On the plus side, I know I can put... I can sell all these for however much. 900? Ooh, nice. The water sphere. 85 is still too low. What the hell? In that case, 90. <laughs> I just... I don't get it. Power crystal. Uh... I'm just testing the waters at this point. Just do 50 for that. Right, he's taking me branches. 
<laughs> Thank you. What else can I sell? Oh yeah, the steel bar. I put that down at 10, and that's way too low. So we'll do 20. And if that's still too low, then I'll just add another 10. Right, the lenses should be fine. I like how it's not a per-person thing. It's like one person might like like it at a certain price, one other person might like it at a different price. I'm very glad that's not the case. Oh. That's still too low. What? Wow. I was not expecting the iron bar to be so low. Oh god, I think that might also be too low. Shit. So I have that at 20, that's too low apparently. Oh no, there we go. Water sphere, 90. Perfect. Took me long enough to get to it, but whatever. Alright, what else can I get rid of? Oh yeah, the fabric. I know that 275 is the price for that. So yeah, get rid of it. I can, it seems I can find it quite easily. Foundry rests, I think also, I know the price of. I can always jack. Foundry rests. Yeah, I do. 150. Oh, there's 200. Okay, there we go. That's 250, apparently. Alright, cool. That's too low. <laughs> Son of a bitch. See, this is why I'm quite glad I'm doing it one at a time now. Otherwise, I would be losing out on quite a bit of profit. So, 50 is too low. Ah, crap. 75. I just go up in... I either want it to end in a zero or a five. There we go. Alrighty. Son of a bitch. Uh, 75 is still too low. I'm putting it at 100. I don't care. Bite me. Uh, what else could I get rid of? Uh, crystal rock. I don't even know what I got that from. I don't know what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I just want to do one at a time. And then I got on car. They are just under the water sphere, so I'll do 80. Wait, iron bar? Oh, the iron... Oh, no wonder. It's a steel. I've put that at 30, so I'm probably going to be very wrong. Crystal rock. I'm going to change that to 50. Um, That's one under the water sphere, which I know is 90. So, 80? For this? Oh, 70. Then we have the Golem Car, which is just above it, so that's probably 100. Alright. It's a moment of truth. Can't believe it. Hey! 100 is acceptable. A hundred! Okay, good. So the crystal is a hundred. So I'll get rid of that and that. Could actually get rid of all my other water spheres too. I want someone to take the iron bar. Just so that I know have I got it right now? After many mistakes. What I should probably do is try and get rid of as much as I can. There we go. There we go. While they're moving over to the counter, I'll put those on, and those. There we go. There you go. Yeah, go for the bar. Then I'll actually know the price. Damn it, it's too low. I had it at 30 and I changed it to, 40, uh, to 50. It's like, God, I'm gonna get swindled. Very nice, there we go. Oh, come on, madam, you know you want an iron bar that I might have priced correctly. Oh, look at my money back. It's actually getting bigger. That's quite cool. <laughs> Would you like this divine vine? Ah, wonderful. You have an eye. That's still too expensive. Was 30 really the fucking magical price? Bullshit. 
I can't believe it. 30 was the magical price. Oh yeah, sold both of those. Um, probably the magical price, I would say. That's still too low? I mean, he took it. He's not happy with it, but... It's not too low, it's too high. So, 25, I guess. Gear. It seems 30 is too much. Alright. We got there. It took me, you know, like selling six of the bloody things to figure it out, but we got there. Right, she'll take that. Is that one gonna leave? Actually, wait. Oh, shoot. I thought I'd sold it. Whoops. Actually, old man, if, if you're gonna take the iron bars, take all of them. There we go. <laughs> Down. Probably because I changed. Because <laughs> yeah, I changed it to be ten of them. Oh well. Um, move back to my inventory. There we go. Okay. That's another successful day. 25 customers! I sold a lot of glass lenses. I was about to say, is that where I made most of my money? But no, most of the money was from the fabric. 5,000! I made a lot. Hell yeah. Not bad. So, before I actually make any more equipment... What could I make? Not with the town, with my own... There we go. Oh, it's... 8,000, 4,000, 10% tip. Comfy bed? What does that mean? Get extra health. Extra space? Hmm. I think register, because I have a chance of getting a uh, tip. There we go. Perfect. So far, really enjoy this. It's... Oh god, it's... A game I've wanted for a very long time. Like this kind of game. Where you play as a merchant. Granted, quite a lot of games have come out where you play as a merchant, but... Oh no, I think, I think I like the fact that it's not just you play as a merchant, it's also the fact you have to go and get your, uh, your wares on each night. I was about to say, how do we even find time to sleep? I guess we don't. Who needs sleep when you can adventure? Adventure. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hmm. So hopefully, I find more of the same. Da -da -da. I don't understand what the hell that's supposed to be. Yeah! 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 Oh god. <gasps> need it! I need, uh, uh, are you kidding? Uh, that dropped the crystal that's worth a hundred. Bitch! Oh, I died. Nice. And I got two golem cars. I got... I didn't even, even get greedy. I was just like, I want to pick that up. <laughs> it's worth money. Why do tools keep disappearing? So, I wonder if this is going to be the same as before. If I run into the golem then, you know, I run into the golem boss. And so be it. Oh, fuck. Well, I mean, there's that. Okay, I can roll through that. I am so dead. Fuck me. Huh. Oh my god. I missed. Uh. Oof. Fuck. Damn it. So I died and I lost what? Oh, play again. Wait a minute. Play again. Hell yeah. That's not even that bad to fight. Hell no. That was quite... Oh, quite simple. Ooh, this might actually give me a chance to pick up the stuff. Oh, it changed. No! What the hell's that? What the fuck? Ooh. Oh god. Nice. 
No, the, the, the Golem boss honestly isn't bad at all. It's got two attack, two attacks. Ah, oh, great! More of these. Son of a bitch. All right, whatever. What's the other one? What the hell are those? What is that? Oh, it's a broken sword. Oh, all right. Fairly useless in its current form, but I could easily smelt it down and craft something new. And that is probably like 180, I would guess. I like how before I even get to the shopping part, I'm already kind of like appraising things. Trying to guess what their worth is. What the hell is this? What have I walked into? I have no idea. Okay. Oh. Are you kidding? That hurts. Why am I, like, dizzy? I'm in, like, the forest. Yeah. I think it's the fo- yeah, plant flesh. High fiber count in these plants, very useful for crafting. 60? Jesus. Yeah, we're going from the lowest. Oh, strong leaves. Hardened leaves that are flexible enough to ricochet off walls instead of shattering. That was a- fuck. That was a lesson hard learned. I'll bet. Alright, found some good stuff. Why am I in the forest? Oh. What? Hmm. There's a crystal. I'm really nearly dead. Alright! I don't want to leave already. But I also don't want to die, so... Let's for two evils. Oh, boy. What the fuck? Are you kidding? Ha, <laughs> play again. If it gives me the option to play again, I'll just keep doing that. I lose all, you do lose all the stuff you came into, however. Oh, whatever. I much preferred the previous. Yeah, because I didn't have to worry about... The only thing I had to worry about was the bloody golem. Oh, hi. Nice. Oh, damn. I like how they were just stuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I got hit twice because I wasn't facing the right way. Dumb. Oh, there's whetstones over there. Don't know how I didn't see them, but here we are. Fuck me. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's the sparkle. Oh. So that's what led down to there. I guess. Yeah, it is. Huh. Wasn't... Yeah, you know, I'm gonna say there's nothing down here. Not too bad, though. Bum, 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 bum. I really don't understand what this is. Is this gonna take me to a different area, too? No. Odd. And boom. Fuck. Ooh. Lucky. Got him! Oh dear. Whew. Saved it. 